Hey guys, what's up? It's Monk Lanky, and for this video I want to do a money making guide. And for this method you're going to need 81 Slayer, and besides that a decent range level would be nice, I would say at least 70. So as always, before we really get into the guide, I want to go over the gear setup first of all. So if you're on task for the Ascension creatures, you want to wear a Slayer Helm. And then I would recommend Royal at least and if you have armadillo or any better range armor than that go ahead and wear that and then I'm wearing chaotic crossbows and you can bring a royal crossbow and if you don't have royal crossbow at least a crystal bow or a black salamander and then I'm wearing a fury some colonomancer gloves glaven boots and a six age circuit these can be swapped out for um, the boots doesn't matter too much just any boots with pretty good defense and you can wear a glory and um, one of the Dagonoth King rings instead of a six age circuit if you haven't completed the quest so in your inventory um, you're going to need a ring of slain if this is your task um, an extreme ranging potion or super ranging potion if you don't have the herbaler level and you're also going to need some super restores to heal up with soul split again if you don't have soul split just fill your familiar full of food um, I'm bringing yak to bank some of the bones or the rune items that they drop um, of course you can always just put them in a war tortoise or whatever a charming imp because these guys drop a ton of crimson charms which is really really nice that's the best thing about this task in my opinion and a ring to get out so to get here what you want to do is just teleport to the oogalog lodestone and then just run a little bit to the northwest, and the cave is right here so you just want to enter the ascension dungeon the only thing that you need to kill these guys is 81 slayer so as long as you have that you're good and you can make some pretty pretty good money so once you first enter in the dungeon, you're going to see a room with a lot of Rorarius, and these guys are killing them. Um, I would not recommend to do that, because they do drop the Ascension Keys, and you can get them slightly more frequently um, from killing these Rorarius guys, but their other drops other than the Ascension Keys are really, really bad. So you want to avoid them. Also, their charms are terrible, and their XP is terrible. So um, yes, they do drop the Ascension Keys slightly more often, but you're still going to get more money per hour killing the guys I'm about to show you. And you'll also get a ton of Crimson Charms and slightly better XP as well. So all around, it's just a good idea. So the best place to kill Gladius is right here in this room that has the three jail cells. The reason for that is... Um, if you attack one of the ascension monsters around one of the healers, I'll show you because there's a healer down here. So if if you attack one of the ascension monsters, um, the healer will automatically start healing it and you won't be able to kill it until you kill the healer. So that's really, really annoying. Um, but this room, if you go here, this is the only room in the entire ascension dungeon where there are quite a few gladius and no healers at all. So that's why you want to um, go to this specific room. And then again, you just attack them. They do a few annoying things. They stun you for about two seconds, three seconds, something like that. But you just um, spam away on your action bar and you'll unfreeze in just a minute. So you don't have to worry too much about that. So the stuff that you want to pick up is every kill you want to pick up these ascension fragments or shards. Do not pick up the ascension fragments. They're completely useless. But the ascension shards, they sell for um, about 400 GP each. Or if you'd like, you can also craft them into ascension bolts. They're very, very good at fletching XP. Uh, that's the reason why they sell for so high. They're one of the best fletching XP in game. Behind, um, They are the third best fletching XP in game behind dragon darts and broad arrows. So anyway, just begin killing the Gladius. It's quite easy, and they also drop quite a bit of food. Um, normally, when I kill them, I don't even have to use Soul Split. I live off of the... They drop a bunch of uh, mushroom potatoes, and then when my action bar gets full, I use the Guthix's Blessing ability. But if you haven't completed the World Wakes, um, just Soul Split, and if you don't have Soul Split, just make sure you put a few sharks in your familiar that you brought with you. So anyway, that's about all there is to it, and I'll try to get a drop here really quickly. Um, they do drop the Ascension Keys, which sell for about 500k each, 400 to 500k. And they also drop a whole ton of rune items, mostly rune maces, rune long swords. Um, they also drop a lot of noted adamant bars, mithril bars, and magic logs. So all together with my testing, it added up to be roughly 2.3 mil an hour. 
However, I'm just factoring in that I am using pretty good gear and I do have a yak. So for someone that doesn't have a yak, I'm going to guess this is going to be about 1.5 to 2 mil an hour, depending on how lucky you get with the keystone drops. But anyway, that's about all for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching and stay tuned. Farewell.